I believe the cannabis industry is going to be among the first industries to experience a radical disruption from artificial intelligence. Our company is focused on artificial intelligence applications into the cannabis space, and some of those can manifest as robotics that are enhanced by artificial intelligence, but also methods of researching how rare cannabinoids affect people using artificial intelligence. So one example of the way that we're using artificial intelligence to study how humans respond to cannabis is in our driving simulator. And one of the challenges that law enforcement has is they, they weren't sure exactly how to handle the issues around intoxicated driving. And we're hoping to develop a new technology that's going to address those concerns. And our hope is that eventually we're going to have the capacity to identify intoxicated people based entirely on their brain activity. We were extraordinarily fortunate to get the support of Valley Heartland in developing our robotic system. And this has enormous applications in the cannabis space because cannabis is not a particularly efficient crop and it has an enormous carbon footprint right now. And with new light emitting diode technology, we're hoping to radically shrink that carbon footprint and introduce a bunch of efficiencies that will bring down the cost of cannabis as well. People often associate innovation as being something that happens in urban centers. And in my experience, the cannabis industry is focused in rural areas because it's an agricultural product. As a result, because the industry is located in rural communities, the innovation also is taking place in rural communities. Being able to come out to a beautiful place like Smith's Falls and still have opportunities to innovate and places like Valley Heartland that encourage innovation has been enormously valuable for the industry.